Hey guys, and welcome to another On The Rack. Now, I'm not entirely sure when this one is going to air, as I'm filming this video second, um, pretty closely after uh, the Worms video. Um, but I'm probably not going to post it second. I'm probably going to throw like a real versus real in between the two just to mix things up. Um, most likely not the countdown, because uh, that's going to take a while, as countdowns generally take the longest. So that's probably the last video I'm going to work on, or I'm, else I'm going to work on it in tangent with everything else. Um, yeah, so uh, also this video is probably, like, if I decide to watch this and then I have moments where I'm going to be, like, filming myself again for whatever reason, I might be wearing completely different clothing <laughs> because I will probably not film anymore today. It's like, I live in Ohio so that means that it's like close to 90 degrees in May um, and I have to turn off my air conditioning otherwise you'd hear the hum in the background. So as soon as I'm done filming this intro, I'm going to turn my air conditioning back on before my apartment reaches 80 degrees. and then I'm going to, even if I finish writing it, it will probably, the rest of the filming will probably be done on a day when I can actually film without also dying of heat. So, on to the review, or whatever this is. Um, the movie we I am watching, I am watching, not we are watching, is Thunder in the House of Magic. He's got a kitty. That's, that seems like a good sign, although the, the impression I get from this one, and I might be completely wrong, I don't know, because once again I've never heard of this and it came out in 2012, is that this, this looks very much like something like uh, Return to Oz or something in that vein, and that it's probably, it might be theatrical, or ha it may have been theatrical, but if it is, it's maybe lower quality theatrical. I don't know, maybe it's not. I can't really tell. Um, so let's read the back. A little lost cat discovers a marvelous and mystical new home in Thunder in the House of Magic, an enchanting animated film for the whole family. Seeking shelter from a storm, a young and abandoned cat named Thunder sneaks into a mysterious mansion owned by Lawrence, a retired magician. This fantastically strange house plays host to all of Lawrence's animal friends, including Jack the Rabbit and Maggie the Mouse and a dazzling array of automatons and gizmos, making it a little tough for Thunder to fit in. But when trouble strikes, Thunder and the gang must pull together to defend their home using an array of delightfully spooky strategies. They used array twice in the same paragraph. Um, filled with laughter and adventure, Thunder in the House of Magic is a wonderful tale that you and your family will love. Um. Okay, so this is one of the ones where it's, if it were done right, maybe it would work, but my guess is this is like, again, like a Return to Oz, or like Igor, or something like that, where the animation doesn't look too bad, but the movie itself is probably a little bit mediocre. I could always be wrong, maybe it's delightful, but... I, I'm not hopeful, or rather, I, I'm not expecting it to be. I feel like I would have heard of it if it, if it were good. Um, I don't recognize any of the studios. Well, I recognize Shout, Shout Factory. I don't recognize any of the other studios. So... Let's watch it and see if it's any good.